Hey everyone, welcome to Cooking with Candyware, and today I'll be showing you how to make Miss Fortune, and she is from the game for your phone called Nico Atsume. So here are all the tools and I'll leave them in the description box below. So the first step is going to be to mix out one of her patch colors that she has. So this is an orange that I mixed with a little bit of yellow to create this color here. And don't forget you're going to want a phone jack accessory for this. I got mine off of eBay in a big bunch. So your first step is going to be to take some white and pinch it into almost like a candy corn shape. And then from there, you're going to take another piece and kind of make it look like a jelly bean shape. I also rolled out a snake of white for later. So you're going to pinch out some of her patch color, which is the orange. And I'm placing that on her bottom side because this is the one that goes on her body. And then I'm adding in her little collar, which is red. So again, you want to make a snake and then roll that up and then pinch it closed. And then adding on her cute little bell in the front. And then you can check to see that her head is the right size. You can change it from there if you need to. So we're going to be making another patch just by rolling out a ball and then flattening it down and placing that on her head and then you're going to also do that with the black and this is just going to go over her one side and then from there we're going to make her little black ears so you're going to make two little circles and then flatten them out into triangles and then her uh, inside ear color is red so you're just going to place that on a little circle and then I'm just using one of my uh, detailing tools to just make sure it's placed where I want it to be so you're going to do that again for the other ear so again small little ball place it down and then flatten it into the shape you want with your detailing tool and then you can place on the ears from there we're going to roll out a super thin snake for her eyes so she has two little happy eyes so you're going to just place those on and then again you can use a detailing tool just to make sure the shape is exactly the way you want it and then from there we're going to be rolling out a small little ball for her nose and all her facial features are black and then a super thin slice of the snake for her mouth and then from there you can take off any little bit if you put too much and then again detailing tools just to shape it in place and then you can place that onto her body so head and body are now attached so from there the snake that we had made earlier we're going to cut it down for her arms so I thought putting her bottom arm that is down first would be a lot easier to work with and then make a very long arm that goes up to her face and then you can trim it down if it's too big so keep that in mind and now I'm just rolling out another little patch and now I'm placing the the other color of the black on top and then placing that on her other side And now you can roll out another piece of the snake and this is going to be her tail so you want a black piece and then you can cut off the excess because you want it to be a nice rectangle shape and then you want to pinch the ends I almost didn't have enough so I'm just going to trim it down just a tad and then add a little bit more black to cover up the end and then you could just use your detailing tool again to just make sure everything's straight and there's no seams. And then you can place her tail on. I like to keep it to one side. And then I'm just placing the phone jack just lightly in the bottom and then it's time to bake. Please follow your clay's instructions. 
So now I'm using some glue to adhere the phone jack accessory. You're going to let that dry and then once that's dry you can add on your varnish. I'm using my good old trusty Mod Podge Dimensional Magic and you're just going to add on the varnish all over your charm. And then you're going to let that dry. And there you have it, your own misfortune foam charm. Thank you so much for asking me to make this DIY. I had so much fun making it. Please let me know what you'd like to see me work on next. And thank you so much to everyone that has stayed with me this whole time on my channel. Please help me get to 2,000 subscribers. Here we go.